Map number one from Nobby. Pearl. Uh, side on Pearl. Uh, attack. Attack. And we're not getting the Pearl that we thought we were from Loud. This composition is such a shift, and they've instantly taken Street. Seems like they're going to split that way. The Haunt's already been cleared, and they're just really aggressive up Link. Ospice has already gotten the first kill. zippen has got a lot to deal with. CNET tough, able to get two in an excellent response. Loud not caring at all about the util that Navi hit him with. The dart getting down B-Long and that knife suppressing everything. So no stars, no smokes. And unfortunately for them, no more players either. 2v3 is going to be tough to get back in when the spike's on site. Les is playing pretty far back. They've got the spike surrounded. Tui's is going to have to make a move or maybe maybe just buy some time for Les to reposition. Yeah, but he can't get caught when the smoke fa falls. Yeah, because then the play's essentially over. A delicate dance for the controller for Loud. Has to stay alive. Has to draw attention and do so without losing his life in the process. 30 seconds left. Les now has arrived. 30 seconds left. The first swing is going to be a little bit of a tag, but not much more. Les falls. Tui's left by Towards himself. Towards side, another split. Here the flash pop, Xiao feeling some of the pressure. There's power in numbers for Loud. The question is, how much more can they find? Navi still have two members that are playing backside. Courtesy of Zipan and Tsugetsu. And the spam through off the seas is really nice. We've got something on our hands here, folks. Less is heating up. It's just CNET and Angel that are left. And you remember, you go back to the beginning of the round, they were the ones who were opportunistic in their space gathering. Yeah, and with the way that Na'Vi like to buy here, I'm maybe considering a save instantly here. Because Angel and Sugetsu save on this attempt at the anti-eco. So they'll be able to buy next, and CNED with a Vandal too. Yeah, he's backing off. Angel's gonna keep this Bulldog pick it up, and that's still gonna result in a good buy, but Lao just rip apart. It's anti-eco. And they did so with nothing but a Marshall in the hands of Aspas, and if, I mean, he didn't really do a ton of it. Maybe <laughs> a little bit of damage, but yeah, it was all the pistols. And they're chasing down the guns too. This could be critical. Let's see if they can grab any of it. And look at these shots from Les. He's full blind there. The Seas gets a connection, oh, wow. and he gets that spam. That second shot was so nice. The double controller, you're not running the Harbor Viper. He's almost the sole lurker with Dewey's too. They can try to regress and take this fight a little bit delayed. After the dump of utility at the beginning of the round, it's a various drop. Angel's Guardian cleans up Sada. That's ridiculous. Again, two players saved here from Na'Vi, by the way. So they have worse weaponry in this round, for sure. And the interesting thing there is they're going for a reclear. Normally they do that with Angel's drone. Spike down A. And he's just using the Guardian to take them all down instead. We're we about to have one of those vintage Angel games where he just pops <laughs> off. <laughs> Boy, I hope so. Look at Les. He just got through A main to clear art, which allows them to get on the site. But Zippon, is he aware of this angle? He is, but not aware enough. A little bit of a win shot there. Angel with the dart, nothing tagged. Les playing very cautiously beneath it. That's gonna be a kill on the Shao. Les is still very weak. And while Loud are making a run at this, there's still so much work that has to be done. Yeah, and it just went from bad to worse. Tui's is going to have to 1v3 if they want to pull this off, and it just got a little bit more difficult. To a T. Sadak picked up the Vandal, and he's playing from the map. I'm confused, very confused on what the intention here is. Tui's maybe a late flank if yeah. they get the site, but they've got to get the site first. Yeah, that's a really big if. And they're going to have to do so in the face of four Navi members who have full weaponry. Kawanzin has already fallen, 14 seconds left. They've got to commit to getting the spike down very soon. Shao with the spam, not landing. But it's going to be enough to reposition. I don't think they're going to get the spike down, not at this rate. sonic has got to commit and he can't. The pressure from Angel was just too much. And there's just not going to be enough time. What a case. Not really willing to give up that space or fight for it as much as they can. Sadak and Loud hold, uh, excuse me, Asmus. Jeez, what a brutal opener. Yeah, that's huge. Completely controlling mid here. CNET with the off, though. And now they know. And that's the breach ult, too. So if they wanted an execute, suddenly that's gone. Look at the spacing right now, still. Trying to get through, make sure there's nobody fighting sewers. That's why Kalanzi is waiting for Les here to regroup with Aspas. But they're going to choose to go into CNET 
But it's just CNED. And it's just you CNED with run. 45 HP, oh. no armor. He can stay here. And they know. You see it pinging on the minimap. Aware of what the gaps are in this ult. Uh, he does have a molly. Lust does, so does he have a lineup for it? I don't think so. I and mean, you see they're even freezing on this. Wait, they're just going to peek into this? Two Cloudbursts out to Obscure Vision. Seeing it still healthy. The fact that he survived as long as he has is massive because he continued to make plays. They're so scared. Plant's still not down, Doug. Cenit's going to be able to feast if they continue to wait. Les finally cleans him up. Numbers in favor of Loud, although less weak. Just 5 HP. But the spike planted. You see if there's any utility that's going to really dump up on top of it. Zipon's going to get cleaned up. And we might get early picks again. Oh, down what a hard. crap! There's a dash. The flash and the haunt. Spike down mid. Both jets activated knives and dashed into mid. And we come through with Loud actually behind in this one, despite getting the first kill. That was so mad. Hopefully we get a good look at that one one more time because that was just so fast. But through the quiet scene, it still has his blades. Aspas not nearly as fortunate. Rolling Thunder online for Loud still. They have to start being able to get success with these dry walks. And oh, that's not the success they were looking for. That's not the way to do it, no. And that's another instance in which Sadak dies with the Rolling Thunder. Mind you, they haven't really had the opportunity to execute with it, but... The dart for the spam, oh my goodness. Tui's Inst in trouble there. Instantly cleared. Sugetsu hasn't, however. He's still playing back sight. Now understanding some of the presence. Angel with the Hunter's Fury. Not going to tag on anyone, but it was enough to bait it out. Just the tap. Now where do they go from here? Ults, or excuse me, Spike still in the hands of Les. This smoke is going to fade from a CNET. I mean, you're pushing into this four-player defense. Well, three now. Still haven't planted. And there's still so much to do. I mean, Tui swings into a high-low that you wouldn't be expecting in a situation like that, and it's so miserable to deal with. Bless, you've been good. Definitely a miscalculation. At the beginning of the round, an Angel versus Aspas. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're having one of those Angel games, man. I mean, we definitely are. Eight and four. It's just crazy. Talk about how he's rolling back the years and all that stuff. Angel seems to be in really good form right now. 85 HP, fishing for another is finally, he, I mean, he gets it. And that's ahead of the stun there from Kawanzin again. He's peeking past double towards before Sadak deploys the fault line. So once again, a lot of pressure and a lot of ask on the shoulders of Les. That's good for him to have broken that molly before the rest of his left. team got here. Are they going to breach hold? Are they going to do anything to get on this? Look, now if he's playing so far back, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, and in a 3v4 where two, he's as 5 you HP. Want to fight it. They're going to use the wall too, but not blocking off flowers, so they are spammable here. 15 Gravity seconds. Gravity well the back. They dump some of that util. Les just took so much damage from one shock dart, man. Where do they go from here? How do Navi find a way out from this? As it seems like Angel's going to be the late lurk, but Les is ready for it. Angel's just quicker on the draw. Three on the round for him. And truly, if you're loud, you cut your losses. You don't continue into this. They have Breach ult. They're going to use it. Looks like maybe off the stun, maybe off a of kill. This is just so difficult to deal with. Yeah. yeah, but Sugetsu's alone, so if they continue to follow up on this, he's going to have to pull out a multi-kill with nothing. Sugetsu, one. Where's the trade? That's easy enough. That aftershock is going to help. What? Oh, the gravity wall is the only thing that stopped him from getting a third. But again, people peeking ahead. They had that aftershock prep the entire time. Tui's and Sadak literally util out. So when I ask, where's the trade? It's not coming. But yet they're still peeking. Angel with a glowing vandal looking to add on to it, and he does. Absolutely a flat start here from Loud out of what is a very expected matchup, one we haven't seen from two teams who have had so much success internationally, even this year. At lock-in, Loud, runner-up, Na'Vi, third, fourth place. And here we are, an elimination game, the first time we see these two teams playing, and Na'Vi feel like they're running away with it. Left. Such drastically different expectations. and. It's a game that is often decided by form on the day. And right now, it just seems like Louder's still in bed, man. Other than Les. Les really seems to be the only bright spot in an otherwise brutal start for Loud. 
That's interesting too because yeah, they're getting rounds because of well, the heroics. Yep. And love love this. Just closing this out very easily, putting the cosmic divide up, checking yeah. exactly what he's going to do, waiting for that pull to come out. He could play off this very well though. Two, is he going to one v two this? To get around. Oof. He's been holding on to that one for a little while too. They're not Finally even on side. And it's going to be in a round where Sadak has only a sheriff. Yeah, there are a couple of other guns flanking and surrounding it, but it's used to get onto the site. There's no counter to this Hunter Fury. Sadak's dead. But they got the spike down. They also invested the Nightfall. They're throwing everything into this round. Yeah. Desperately needing to find success. They can start playing art. Right, I'm wondering where Sugetsu chooses to use his lockdown if he does, and he does. Not pushing the player's art or a main back too far, though. Keep an eye on Kawanzin. He's going exploring. A turret just got put up, though. He's going hunting. Sugetsu's ready for it. He clears out the turret. Unfortunately for him, Sugetsu took a step back. That's pressure on the back line they have to deal with now. They have to be aware. They're going to go for the defuse, though. They're not concerned for it at all. They're just turning their attention towards the side, and it's going to work out. Zipan's already gotten it halfway. Yeah, the gravel didn't come out in time. Now be Less. The spam there cleans up one, but still has so much to do. Did he buy enough time? It's so close! Close plant, which I love. Instead, using the flash, and there's finally a go button from Loud here. Yeah, I like this too. Perhaps seeing that there was no one on site in the previous round, given the Rolling Thunder they invested, they're a bit more cautious in what they spend this time around. Still an op in the hands of CNED. Keep an eye on that, Sadak. Trying to push his way forward. They invest the Cosmic Divide too as Angel falls. Sadak on the swing. Oh, gun barrel spotted. Sugetsu on the swing. The kill in favor of Sadak. That was, I mean, that was right next to him. But he takes a step back. Now going to re-aggress. That op barrel really long. The Seas and the Prowler getting info on the other side of the wall. A nice pivot there, too, to use that Nano Swarm to push him back even further. That will be the round here. And now he's going to try to do damage. Remember, Lod has struggled to get rounds, but... Really hurt. Look at the damage that Shock did, and he might even get even more on Aspas. Aspas down to 68 HP, Sadek 92. Dude, Angel's just got like heat seeking utility right now. Prowler's gonna go real far away. Take a step back. Angel with the dart. They're gonna try to flood up behind it, the snap onto the first. Take flight. And now the drone to follow. Shao's still so far away from the play, but they're waiting for Navi to all gather up and then push forward. Shao's one kill off of a Cosmic Divide. Here. That will ruin the B-Long player's ability to play into this. Oh, I mean, it's done if they get that. Final boss down, as fast 68 HP, still playing backside. Valentine close by. The swing out, and Zipen and Shao get both. A 3v2 here, and Cena taking a lot of damage, and there's the Cosmic Divide that you were just referring to. They have Cena to push, push ahead of it, but they don't know that Cena's in the smoke! First shot goes wide, but it buys time. It's a distraction. They don't Nothing know but off. a fade. They have to face check it. A one for one, two. He well, that's a nice haunt, too. Is anybody getting some tag? I mean, surely you know that the hits this way now. You see it for Navi. They're starting to scatter and rotate over towards B. Nightfall dropped. It's going to hit what? One, two. Zipan just dropped Aspas as he was dashing into his face. Two members of Loud already down. Loud. Not and they head right back towards this split with the drone coming in, forcing these players close. Oh, what a snap from Aspas. Two, he's able to get a second. That was clean. Angel, where are you going, bub? Sight's behind you. You have the spike. Go looking for the fight. Go get the spike down. Oh, well, it's actually considering how to play in this scenario, knowing there's a lot of players in art. Knowing how Shao's already on site, they're gonna try to take control of this. He needs to win oh, these fights. Oh, but he manages to get out of there without taking any damage, which given how the first couple of shots went is a major success. Less, less is putting them into the pen right now. They are completely boxed in. Is it comfort for Navi or is it a problem? Down in numbers, completely surrounded. As you were mentioning, leaving Angel by himself. Currently top fragging on the server and looking for more magic. 91 HP, the classic does not connect. Dude, he's reading the timing and that star that he dropped as soon as he saw the drone turns into a smoke, but they're already past it. Sadak already invested his fault line too. Speaking of investments, that op is going to be real tough to use here when it comes down to it on this retake. But if they do go for a B long post plant, then all of a sudden that kind of changes. Yeah, I mean, just having Xiao as a controller, there's not as much to break those sightlines. We have Aftershock as well to 
breakout players trying to play close while they defend the back of site. And you are absolutely right. They're not intent on trying to play this down long. They want to take the fight out onto the site. They want to scrap with what Loud have to offer. The dumping of utility backside is Loud. Less pushes into it in the nano, gets two. And now they swing back out. Angel continuing to frag. Hey, the guy really is in rare form today. It's just a tap, though. That gravity wall is good. And they have so many different angles they can peek out from. This is far from a done deal. They're going to get half already? I don't think they're going to be able to. That's big from Aspas. Span. He's going to have to hold this the whole way because time is short. He's going to have to get it, and he can't. Do it. He's looking to counter this. That star as well could be real nice. He's calling players over. Yeah, everyone's here. Can he get out? Oh, jump. You're down to one minute with very little tools to get back into this. They noted that there was no KJ Util right now in street, so they're walking down. But Kaunzin does get the info anyways with that jump spot. Aspas is there too. You see that attempt at a high-low. Speaking of high-low, Aspas trying to get high ground himself. See, events timing almost That's successful. That's the one He missed he, all five. Yeah, he invested everything. Still has the Marshall. The knife out. You see Sada playing up in the smoke, playing up in heaven. He's getting spammed, trying to get peppered through the wall. Les has joined him, though. Perhaps that will be enough. Oh, nope. through the smoke. I mean, the reinforcements instantly dealt with. Instantly disabled. Three rifles, though, for Loud here. In a 3v4, Xiao in a really comfortable position. A zip on his two. This just seems like another lockout from Navi. Fuse is going to have to 1v4 to keep this in. 30 seconds left. Timing on the knife, and that's what draws out the fault line and pops a little bit of what they have. But seen it pushing forward. Backside, Les is the one he's going to have to challenge. But he's flashed. He can't see a thing. What a setup from Zipan. And then you've got the hold out from Angel. This is beautiful. The Rolling Thunder is going to cause serious problems, though. Did they burn the clock too low? Look at Seenet. He's got behind enemy lines. Only one found. Four seconds left. They've got to getting the spike plant down. They do. Oh. Angel and Xiao left alone in a 2v3. And do they know Xiao's position? Could he single-handedly secure the round? Could he single-handedly get Na'Vi to map point? Will they clear him? Do they know? The fault line, they're aware. Kalantin on the swing. The fault line causes problems. Angel left by himself. Still tough to flush him out. He's repositioning. That glowing vandal's gonna get to the late lurk. Angel has his dart online. Keep an eye on that. The drone's the first thing out. You see the cloud burst. The knife back sight to make sure no one's back there. And you see the dart lit up too easy. He had no shot. Aspas, though, trying to be able to control things with you the op. The sight is still lost and the spike is still planted. Oh, Angel's dead. You're right. But seeing it once again with the counter, the blades. Find success. How do Loud get into this? Perhaps waiting for the Cosmic Divide to expire before they pounce. The flash and the haunt to provide some cover. Still cleared, though. Zenets needs to get value off of Xiao's life. In fact, Xiao finds the time to get out, so... <laughs> That's a spam from Sonic. He just jumps up. That is outrageous. Xiao hasn't had a clutch moment for a while. He very well maybe do. That gravity wall gets the first, the second out on the left. Aspas going quick for this push. The stun misses. Any targets that he might have, but it clears the way for him to get this peak all the way top mid. Such a nice setup in case anyone was close. Oh! Ah, Angel counting his lucky stars there. Oh. Meanwhile, CNET has nothing but stars to count for the rest of the round. Another proper heater of a shot out from Sada. <laughs> what is going on with the two IGLs today? Both of them taking such risky moments there. Sadak, of course, was Whoa. not expecting this at all. No, blindsided. And it, you question how he got there because there's an alarm bot on the other a, a side. A knife there. He's always playing backside lesses, so he's very targetable by Zipon. And they're going to push that backside that you were just mentioning. Targeted with utility, targeted with the Bulldog. And this has already been a problem for Loud in the last round where Did. Navi hit that B site. He got suppressed, was not able to pop the... Nana Swarm for the players to push him back site. So he lost control of that now. Leaves his team again in a 3v4. Navi playing tight on site too, not playing for this B long play. And again, we have this cosmic divide, but everybody playing in front of it, like you just mentioned. They just handed the op over into Tui's his hands. Aspas is gonna want to make a play here. He's dropped down below. Kawanzin dealt with. Angel was wise to it. Just two remaining for loud. And a 2v3. Make that one. Tui's has to save the op. He's gotta get out. Very advantaged. Fighting mid. Could be down mid. 
It's just crazy. Uh, oh. It's what won them the last round. This time they're going one through Art. Calvin Seen cannot get picked. He was by himself too. There's really no setup here unless he takes a step back and there's a cross with two E's and there it is. Seen that falling, spamming through the smoke is two E's as he looks for another, but the counter from Zipon is clean. They're trying to tuck tail, they're trying to get away and there is no exit. Calvin Seen stops him in their tracks. Two remain for Navi and Angel and Xiao. Spike's still in hand and there's an abundance of money for Xiao, but Angel right not here. nearly as fortunate. He can't peek here too, because Aspas is on the angle. He has to give it all to Shout. There, now he can. With that smoke getting put off, it cuts off Aspas's angle. Do they go forward here? 35 seconds left. Just a pixel. 30 seconds. This dart, they might spam. That nightfall is going to get a lot of info. And they spam the prowlers here if there's any left. No, oh, none from Kalanzin. No. There's nothing to follow up behind that ult. If you're alive here, you want to get out of this, investing as little as possible. You've already dropped the Nightfall. You want to keep the, the, the lockdown if you can. 13 seconds left. They're going to commit to getting the spike down. And you mentioned a couple of rounds ago he had been normally playing backside. This time shouldering towards mid. Oh, that took down the alarm bot right there. With the Hunter's Fury, that's a dash forward from CNET. The knife to make sure no one's around, but now you're not going to have that for the counter on the lockdown. Uh, Aspas is... Real in trouble right now. Two players pushing down B-Long and also through Street, but he's still gonna get it. He's got blades and instantly dropped as soon as they were popped. Stun here, keeps him back for now. They need to recover the spike and get on to it. Seen it, seen it stuck, he's dead. There's no way out, but he's got a cover. Hello? He's got freaking secret service detail. Hello? And they're never gonna catch Hello? him. He's just on the other side of the wall. But Colin's in inside, unstabilized. Can get to do it by himself, a 1v1. Eight seconds left, spike out of hand, five HP. The shot's not landing the first time or the second. No time. And there's just no time. Holy smokes. For this vault line to come back up too, they could definitely have a trap play. And they're reclaring both sides at the same time in A main. Angel. <gasps> I mean, half a second. The only thing separating life from death for Angel, for Navi. And it's the two new players, too, going for a proactive play. They've got more it. coming. Look at, look at how far up Kalanzin is. You're right, two is there with them. That one-two punch, it's a devastating duo. And can it clean them up? Seeing it's up stabilizes for now. But now it's less. You thought you dealt with it all. 30 seconds left. But there's more on the other side. Unless his timing is going to be gorgeous, there's no idea. Oh. They have no idea, but the pixel betrays them. A regress from Sagetsu. All he needs to do is just buy time now. They're going to go into Aspas. It's just contain. It's just contain. Walking into the slaughter is Sagetsu. So much into this. Seeing Ed's blades and Sadak's fault line. I'm surprised he's held on to it. They're going to stay on this. He's going to stay back sight here, hope that no mollies come into his position to keep him away and cancel this lockdown. Oh, no! Oh, he's got to get no! away. He's stuck. He can't find a way out, and he's dead. He forgot about the knife. A crucial mistake that Loud have made before, and that might have cost them the map. Less on the counter. Kalanzin has arrived with Nightfall, but the Cosmic Divide defines a great line. How do they reinvent their exit through this? Can't spam now, but Molly's coming in. Angel might give up his life for Zippons. Still time, though. So and they planted the spike in the meantime. So costly, there it is on the res, but Tui's has an ult of his own. They bring him back to life. They've got the Nightfall that they're going to invest, and that's going to just cause so much chaos on the site. The flash from out into heaven, and you see both ults used, dissecting everything. One finally dissipating. Aspas pushing forward, op in hand. Do they dare peek on the other side of the wall? Now they funnel out. It's a flood. Time running short. Navi trying to hang on to the control of the situation. It's a 3v2 less than two. He's the youngsters. The young bucks, can they do it themselves? A 2v2, it's all on to less. 89 HP of the first found, but no idea of the second. Time running short. The gravity well will certainly seal it. Navi somehow maintain control and take map one.